Mm -hmm. The one you killed to be killed. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, mm -hmm. so I had breakfast at McDonald's this morning and then uh, a little while later went to the public. Um, I had the McGriddle, uh, the hash brown, the two, two for two mix, right? And then got a medium sweet tea and a parfait, right? And uh, at the Publix, I had uh, banana yogurt, strawberry and mixed berry yogurt, um, banana. And cheesecake with strawberries on top. And coffee and water, right? To drink, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the point, though. Mm -hmm. If you're on base, right? And you have to get off of the window ledge. Or you think you're injured in the fall either way, I know. You wouldn't have amnesia there for some reason if you woke up in the hospital later on. Yes, yes. Well, okay. And who are you going to tell first if you have to jump from the window ledge and land it? Mm -hmm. Someone there. Mm -hmm. or are you going to call Pastor Thomas all the way over there in Norfolk <laughs> when you're in Portsmouth? Or are you going to call your ex-wife who you are having issues with and we're on base because of her? Probably someone in the front, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Now, only if some asshole causes trouble as you're telling someone else about the story could, again, it escalate from there, too, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Now, this is trying to put things in decency and order, too, right? With amnesia, right? Now, if someone starts shit because you took karate and can jump from a two and a quarter story window ledge, <laughs> which to you might not be a big deal, but to them might be a big deal. <laughs> but you try to explain it to them in as rational way as you can, right? There is a certain amount of feet if you're trained to jump it, you can jump it. Take the pole, pole vault or something like that, right? Even though you land on an airbag, right? Uh -huh. Well, I'm jumping off of my trailer at home. No. Now, when someone starts quid pro quo on you, though, on base, right? After hours, right? Just like on your ship, it's hard to prove. Now... When I had my issues with Ben Campbell asking me if I was gay and had to get into a fight over it with him, right? I did what I legally could do. And still made it through my time on my ship. <laughs> on the ship I was stationed on, right? Because I'm trying to do it the right way. Mm -hmm. Now... Only the guys who are supposed to work with me, though, can quit pro quo, you know. Now, I didn't have a problem in any other division but with Ben and King. Ben Campbell and EMFM King. I don't know his first name. I didn't really get done that well. <laughs> either, either. <laughs> now, mm -hmm. when you're dealing with people who don't believe in Jesus, and you do, <laughs> and you know he rose again and they don't, right? All you can tell them is if I'm doing something wrong, only God and Jesus can judge me, not you or Satan. Again. But if I told them all the stuff that happened to me, right? Including the wreck, including jumping from the... You know, if they still didn't believe me, who was it on them? them. And like I told them... My life might seem like a movie to you, but it's real to me because people live different lives, right? People who are more in shape than you can do more than you can do, too. Like in the Army versus the Navy or the Air Force or even the Marines and stuff like that and the Coast Guard, right? And then you have the Merchant Marines, which is kind of more civilian, but still part of the Armed Forces, now, mm -hmm. 
when you're being voidard, like in my cousin Vinny, <laughs> someone is trying to get something on you. Mm-hmm. Daphne. They're trying to make it seem like, mm-hmm, you did something wrong when you didn't as well. That's also a part of quid pro quo. Mm-hmm. See, another way is to accuse someone of doing something they couldn't have done without someone else knowing. <laughs> like my ex <ex-wife. laughs> That's why I keep talking to you all about it <laughs> in the formula, too, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Now, if I'm on base, though, do you think I'm going to call Pastor Thomas first or tell someone on base? Tell someone on base. Right, right. Now, if that don't pan out, then I might have to call Pastor Thomas. Right? And I would call him before Daphne. Why? She was I was on base. Right? Leaving me stranded in Tennessee and the fight in August. Right? Those two are enough to move back to base for anyone. To give her some space. Right? Now, you do know when a woman asks for space, you give her fucking space. <laughs> right? Until she can work out what the fuck's going on in her mind. You tell your side of the story, but that's all you can do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't condemn her. You don't say, I'm not without faults. I'm not without error. But I'm human, too. Mm-hmm. Now, that's why I reference raising my sister... <laughs> As well as other things I did and was around, including I know what child molestation is and isn't. I don't do that to little boys or little girls. I know better. Mm -hmm. Now there's three ways something can happen. Fully, partially, or not at all. (laughs) Now when something's a little partial, it ain't for you to determine if I did something or not. Nor is it for the person there because they could be setting me up for it, right? So the only one can, who can figure it out is someone outside of it all. Mm-hmm. Right, right. So, mm -hmm. that's the point to this person, too, who sounds more like a man than my ex-wife anyway. Mm -hmm. He's thinking and acting like a fucked up man in his head. (laughs) Who won't believe in the resurrection of a person he keeps arguing with. (laughs) About it all. Mm -hmm. Because, see, that's the point, right? My ex-wife would know if something unusual happened. For two reasons, right? The child's right there between me and her. Either way, either way. And she can do something about it quicker than I could if I'm reacting to it versus her and me in two different areas of the apartment that night. Right? There's a reason for that, too. Now, when you have a fight with your wife, whether children are involved or not, where does the dad usually sleep? The couch. The couch. You see that in all the sitcoms. <laughs> all the shows on TV. <laughs> sure that <they> do. <laughs> That's why I reference TV shows because this idiot don't seem to know <laughs> real life or something, right? And lives in his own little fantasy world. <laughs> yes, he does. Yes, he does. <laughs> and he's a very messed up in the head individual who won't realize that he's only making himself look bad. (laughs) Not me, not you. Because the one person who can prove it ain't able to prove it either. That's my ex-wife, right? Who was there that night until I moved back to base anyway. If the daughter came in there or not, right? So that's the point, right? But even doing something because of a situation... 
doesn't mean is sexual or not. It depends on your upbringing. See, all I'm telling you I would have done with her is if she's right there in my face and woke me up, or if she's by the bathroom, what I would think there and do there. Mm -hmm. Why? Because one is quicker to be dealt with. Right? One is kind of lukewarm either way. You don't quite know what to do there either. either. Do I help my stepdaughter go to the bathroom or try to take a bath with her or something? You don't know what's going on. Right? Until you what? Mm -hmm. Determine what is going on. Right? Now, if you do more than you're legally allowed to do, yeah, that makes it a crime. But if you're legally allowed to do so much with her as a step-parent is, versus the mom who's right there, you're still not trying to do anything necessarily sexual, though there ain't a lot of people who can know about it. And there's only three people outside of me and my ex-wife who might could know about it. Mm -hmm. One is someone on on base with the authority to put a camera in the apartment somehow mm -hmm. to where they can see what we're doing <laughs> without my permission by the way mm -hmm. which is illegal an invasion of privacy <laughs> by the way mm -hmm. the second way is my ex-wife was trying to set me up the third way is the biological dad was trying to set me up right and again or the grandma mm -hmm. <laughs> was trying to set me up now, here's the problem if the child comes in there to me. Who raised her? Grandma. Grandma. Who is she around the most? Grandma. Oh, no. But even dad knew that. <laughs> even mom knew that. Mm -hmm. So who is going to want her to say grandma anyway? Uh, not mom. Maybe dad if he's coaching her. And not grandma and grandpa. <laughs> They're going to coach her to say Shane or something. <laughs> but that's why you ask someone in there with you if they're acting oddly either way. And uh, who showed you that? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you what to do if you are in that situation yourself, hypothetically, too. Right. Like this person is insisting I did something with her when my ex-wife was there and would know something happened that night. Right. So, so another thing is, why would she call the cops? She said, Grandma. <laughs> another point. <laughs> for me. For me. <laughs> Now, this is still hypothetical, though. I can't prove it, nor can she prove it, unless she messes with the daughter when she's old enough to actually be with me, and then that's different, too. Right? See, once she's old enough to be with me and I divorce her ass, her daughter is no longer my daughter-in-law <laughs> or my step-relative. Right? She's moved on from me, and I moved on from her, and we've been separated since she was four. Mm -hmm. And I ain't been around her. I ain't hung up with her. I can only be around my legal son with her. Mm -hmm. That's John. Right? But again, mm -hmm. I'm not trying to get anybody <laughs> in trouble here. Not John, not my ex-wife, not her daughter. Mm -hmm. But whoever's doing this is trying to get us all in trouble and acting like it only applies to me because I'm a man. <laughs> Who's hearing voices by that time. <laughs> and my ex-wife knows about it. <laughs> I tell her up front about my schizophrenia. <laughs> I tell everybody up front about my mental illness because I'm legally required to by law if I'm going to be around you. And there's two ways to do that. My tag, mm -hmm. and when I meet you, I'll let you know uh, in the normal course of our relationship, I'm dealing with mental issues that developed in the military. Mm hmm and I'm up front about what happened. <laughs> it involved another female. <laughs> With again the same guys, Ben and King, controlling my belt, Sheena Johnson. That means they could have used that to fuck with my girlfriend then <laughs> and sabotage that relationship, possibly too. <laughs> Who knows who's writing me to my ship and they're not giving me the letters, which is illegal too. <laughs> Now, who's breaking all the rules and who's trying to keep them? Shane, Shane. <laughs> ben and King are breaking all the rules. <laughs> Not Shane. Now, we're both part of the government now, so who can be playing sovereign immunity? Both, both. <laughs> See, that's the point, too. I can claim sovereign immunity because I'm part of the government, too. 
But the thing is, I don't do shit like that. I was taught better than that shit. <laughs> you don't touch a little girl. You don't even touch a little boy. <laughs> if you do, that got to be over what's called an age of consent. And in Georgia, that's 16. <laughs> that's why I harp on that shit. And according to the UCMJ, it's also 16. Now, state to state, it differs up to 18. But I know that shit, too. Guess how old Mary Bell was when we started dating? 18. But if she was with Scott before she thought she'd turn 19, she was really 17. Or anyone else? Mm -hmm. Or Bart, whatever hell's going on, or Steven. These are what, this is a story she's telling me herself, right? All I can do is tell you what she told me. That's, he said, she said stuff, though. Mm hmm. Now, her and Scott, though, told me when Patrick was born, he was four pounds, nine ounces, right? Based on that, she was, he was conceived around the 20th to the 22nd. <laughs> Guess when we were together? The 20th to the 22nd. Not saying he's mine 100% or I can prove anything. I can't. <laughs> Without the same DNA test Stephanie got to prove Jonathan was mine. But I did tell her I don't want to go through the same but opposite stuff I went through with Daphne with you either. either. It's going to be treated the same. If you want a DNA test, I'll give you one. If you don't, <laughs> I ain't going to argue with you. I ain't got time for that shit. I'm moving on with my life from you too. Right? That's another thing I was telling Homer about. Mm -hmm. And maybe... Bart and Steve were too. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> All I know is my girlfriend is hanging out with her ex-boyfriend, according to her, <laughs> and is pretending she wants a relationship with me too, but is just having sex with me. But guess who cheated on her? Her boyfriend. <laughs> and got another girl pregnant. <laughs> now, maybe what's really going on is he's feeling guilty, right? <laughs> About cheating on her, right? <laughs> so, like, all fucked up ex-girlfriends... <laughs> Who he broke up with. <laughs> She's trying to get him back. <laughs> She's pining for him. But involves me. Why? Mm -hmm. To show she can fuck anybody on birth control pills. And not get pregnant. Right? Well somehow she did. <laughs> and she's the dumbass. Who can't figure out how she got pregnant. But is living with the man. She's trying to get back with or something. <laughs> and lying to me about it. I know that. <laughs> right? That he's not fucking her anymore. Mm -hmm. He might even have a piece on the side like she's doing to him too. And again, <laughs> telling her that too. And she won't let it go. She she wants this guy almost obsessively. Right? And is convinced he's the one for her. Mm -hmm. But it's sucking me as on the side too. As he's probably cheating on her or moving on from her too. Right? Now I'm into her, right? <laughs> But I can tell she's not as into me as I'm into her. So I'm wondering her. I'm going to cheat on her too. And <laughs> she don't stop that shit. <laughs> I know what she's doing too, basically. <laughs> and I'm trying to get her to either commit to me too or break up with me too, right? Now, I'm also warning her about not making me cheat on her either. Because either. she might <laughs> get pregnant around that time. <laughs> and guess what? Happened to you finally cheating on her. Right. I finally met someone else myself, right? And she got pregnant <laughs> around the last time we were together. <laughs> Birth control pills or not. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> now, she's part of her knows what I'm saying, right? You know, too, too. Her mind is the problem. Her mind is stuck on her ex, right? And wanting him. Her body is wanting me. And she's being with me sexually. Not saying she's cheating per se. That's not the point, right? She's showing me she wants her ex back and not me. And I'm following what's going on. <laughs> she's trying to use my mental illness like Daphne did, though, to kind of get rid of me. <laughs> not saying she wasn't doing that with the um, fight and the stranding me in Tennessee, right? That worked. You're trying to implicate her for a third thing. I don't know if she did or not. But if she did do it, I didn't touch the little girl. I know if she's in there with me, two things. She could be setting it up. 
And if she is, I better be careful what I do. <laughs> and another thing is what? <laughs> I got a responsibility not only to my ex-wife, but to my stepdaughter as well to make sure she's not with a fucked up mother. <laughs> See, that's why I'm talking about two different ways I would interact with her in two different situations because I have amnesia from a three-story fall or accidental dates. But there again, I can tell someone else about what's going on with me and my ex and they can accuse me on base too, Daphne. So again, we got two people I can call if I'm on base though, which is Pastor Thomas from Christian Fellowship Church and... My ex wife. But one of them I'm on base because of. Mm -hmm. The other I ain't talked with in a while, but he kind of works with me a little bit. <laughs> but who are you going to tell first? Someone on base. Someone on base. Someone right there. Because mm -hmm. you can't even get off base yet. Your ID and everything is in the room. And only if some asshole can't. Understand how you jump from the three story. From the three story window of a. Three story building <laughs> and freaked out on you about it would it escalate. <laughs> Just like with my ex wife, it was escalating and I tried to stop that shit. <laughs> By again, luck, sleeping on the couch, sleeping on the couch. <laughs> now, it seems to me though, like someone's wanting me out the house, right? <laughs> you get into a fight with me suddenly and you leave your shirt in Tennessee, what you gonna think? <laughs> get the fuck out the house. <laughs> as fast as you can, excuse my French there, right? <laughs> That's what she's saying to me. So I get the hell out of the house as fast as I can, right? Now, it might have been by Friday or Monday that I was out of the house. Now, whoever this is, though, they're obsessed with it. <laughs> Trying to make you think it's my ex-wife. But my ex-wife can prove if something happened or not. Not them. This makes them an accuser of me, right? Not my ex-wife. But if they accuse me, they're also accusing her. Because she's there too. So that's what I'm trying to explain to you all. I was not in a position to do anything with my stepdaughter but see if she would need to go, help go to the bathroom or something. Or if she's right there in my face bring her back to her mom. But I do have to ask her who showed her that in both scenarios, right? So I'm trying to clear whoever's name I can clear in this shit too. Even my excisive so they, right? <laughs> I don't know who it is. But it does seem more like a man thinking woman <laughs> than a woman who's thinking like a man. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> or what is it? Or what is it? Is it someone from my past, like my mom? Did she have attacked me at the car? Right. She's about to turn 67 this year. I did mention something about that <laughs> earlier on. <laughs> About leaving at least myself till 67. She ain't freaking out further on me as she friend. Because she did something to me herself. <laughs> Which is again the last thing you would expect. And that makes her a mommy dearest like Joan Crawford. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But mommy dearest ain't supposed to be doing that shit either. Either. <laughs> She's supposed to let her son date like anyone else can date. Even if she's a rape victim by Big Daddy, because I don't know if Granddaddy would, my Granddaddy would do that mm -hmm. to her. But I know Big Daddy is a KKK member. <laughs> granddaddy ain't. <laughs> Big Daddy, his way or the highway. <laughs> my Granddaddy's a little bit lenient. <laughs> but again. She can also be traumatized by the man if he had a fucking shotgun on her. That's called what? Post-traumatic stress disorder. Right. It's also a mental illness. Now, even Joy Myers, I mean, Joyce Myers, <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. But she might not still be able to deal with her trauma mm -hmm. if the man pulled a shotgun on her right her. She might even be shooting her hunt son in the back of the head <laughs> with a twenty two or something. And he's telling her he feels like the Wolverine. <laughs> Hypothetically. 
This ain't something anyone can prove, right? right. It's supposed to be made up. <laughs> It sounds like a bad movie, don't it? Or a horror movie. <laughs> With normal times during the plot, but... <laughs> someone's trying to get you. <laughs> or me, you know what I mean? <laughs> and you just don't know who the hell it is. <laughs> and they're acting like their time is running out. Well, like I told her, if I'm the male child from chapter 12, the woman who has me, alright, goes into the wilderness when I go to Jerusalem. <laughs> Whatever that means, or three and a half years as well. Mm -hmm. So you don't necessarily <laughs> have to worry about anything yet. <laughs> if that's what's going on, I don't know. It's just a huge fucking plot I have amnesia of that I can't figure out. <laughs> Bye.